Empty. Nice, dirty Air Force One. Jesus Christ. I know I saw June speak diamonds. I rock me to God, you told me life about timing. But they say, eight days feel like mine's winding. In this cold world, trying to adjust the climate. Looking at. Yo, Tube, what it do? This is your guy, Jay Silva, and you are back on the Silver Niners TV show. Now, you could have been anywhere in the world, but of course, you are here with me, and you know what that means for that. I salute you. I won't take much of your time today. I'll just be discussing the sneaker. Probably the most famous silhouette of all time. It's, it's never ending. It never gets old. It may grow out of, it may get out of trend a little bit, but it always finds its way back into pop culture, into hip hop culture, or into sneaker culture. Um, it's a sneaker that's been duplicated a hundred times. I think Nike's actually just sued somebody for um, for bootlegging the silhouette. Without further ado, this is a Nike Air Force One in collaboration with uh, with Space Jam, with the Space Jam movie, and it came in this box here, black Nike box. Silver emblem, not your typical Nike uh, plain Air Force One box, normal tissue paper. They probably could have got a little freakier with the with the display. And if you remember the Space Jam 11 that came out 2016, I believe it was. Incredible boxing, packaging, presentation, aligning with the movie was great. Anyway, here's the shoe. This is the right sneaker. Your normal Air Force One, right? It's just like a white on white, but it, got, it has those blue hits. And what makes this Air Force One special is they, uh, they took it as far as to add in an actual character, Bugs Bunny, dribbling the ball right under the swoosh. And uh, it, although it's like the base of it is white, it's not your typical white um, like Air Force One leather. I got to say, I was impressed with the quality. Um, if you look, if you take a close look there, it's... You actually like it gives you that tumble look on this uh, Air Force One. It's not that plasticky feel. On this side here, you can kind of pick up. Hopefully, the camera's picking it up, man. Um, you kind of see the tumbleness on there. Very impressed with the quality and the build of the sneaker. From looking at pictures, I thought the swoosh would have been like a leather, but it's uh, it's a pretty cool material. It's like almost a suede. I doubt it's a real suede, but it's 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 leaning towards it being a suede. And then uh, on the left sneaker, you're gonna get the, uh, you're gonna get Lala or Lola. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. You got her dribbling under the uh, under the swoosh and they've definitely changed her appearance from the part one. If you guys remember Space Jam part one, Lola or Lala was popping in that joint and uh, they, uh, they dressed her up a little bit more, man. I'm just kidding, these are characters. These are cartoons, but you guys get it. On the back of the sneaker, your standard Nike Air swooshes covered in suede. Icy bottoms to complement the hits on the swooshes. Overall, a sturdy sneaker. May, I may have overpaid for these. Um, it, you know, it's an Air Force One, but it, it, this was a, a gift to someone. It wasn't a personal purchase. And I'm actually happy that, I'm actually happy that my son is into this whole Space Jam shit because um, Space Jam 1, the original movie, has a lot of sentimental value to me. I remember being like 10 or 11 going to see that movie with my old man, and it's a day that I still remember. Um, so the fact that my son is kind of still in, is into this shit is cool, because we can kind of like, we can kind of bond on certain, you know, topics and stuff like that. Even though he's slightly older than, than I was at the time that the original came out, he's still very much into it. He definitely wanted these sneakers. He got a shirt to match it, so that's gonna be a that's gonna be a fly little look. And coincidentally, I actually purchased this LeBron James action figure. Caught it at Walmart 
a few months back before the movie even dropped. And I said, what the hell, man? He might break the all-time scoring record at some point. Maybe this $10 I invested turns into $150 in a couple years. Maybe not. Either way, it's cool to have in the background. Also one with a Bugs Bunny. I think it would have been fly to include one of these with the uh, Air Force One or one of the LeBron sneakers, Space Jam sneakers. Because man, you're paying a lot of money for a sneaker. You should be able to add something to the display. Not much else uh, here to discuss, guys. I'm gonna give you a close uh, look to the sneaker. Uh, I got a few more sneakers coming in, uh, maybe about two to three, mm, two pairs coming in that I'll be reviewing. More in detail, you know, this is your standard Air Force One. You've seen this a gazillion times. Not much I can I can do with this, uh, aside from telling you that for being an Air Force One, I was impressed with the quality, and it looks like uh, you can get more than three wears out of this pair. My white on white to get three pairs and they're done. Although my homie was, um, was telling me something about uh, putting force fields in the Air Force One to, to keep, them, uh, keep them a little sturdier for a longer period of time. I've tried force fields once in Jordan 3s, hated it, hey, uh, most uncomfortable thing in the world. He says it's different with the Air Force Ones. You guys let me know if you guys use force fields. Is it good? Is it bad? You guys recommend it? Comment down below. Please um, like, comment, subscribe, man. I appreciate all the love and the feedback I've been getting from you guys. Slowly but surely, brick by brick, he is I and I am him. Jay Silva checking out. Timing, but they say, ain't they feel like mine's winding in this cold world trying to adjust the climate? Looking at.